Chudge, once again, friends and fans, hello. It is time to bro down as Poland. It's been a little while since I've uh, recorded as the Soviets, but I've been playing a lot of games and having a lot of fun in this game. Now it's time just to, you know, get down and, and have a good time. So, anyway, welcome, once again, Air Land Battle. Yeah, it's good to have you here. Uh, again, like, comment, and subscribe on these videos if you're enjoying. They will continue as you guys continue to sub and uh, and like these videos. Otherwise, we can change to whatever you'd like. Uh, there's other live streams going up all the time as well. So, of course, if you're getting a little bored of Air Land Battle, which you shouldn't be, there's plenty to watch. So, anyway, we're the Polish here, an armor deck. A lot of variety here for armor for the Poles. And I'll just quickly go through the decks. Go ahead and pause if you want at any time to go ahead and look at what I've got. So, what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be quick pushing to the area at Fedor here to... Uh, uh, launch defensive uh, maneuvers and the same with Elena if possible so we're gonna try to push those forces over that way ASAP we're gonna bring some light shoulder launched AA as well and uh, hopefully all those vehicles can get over there quickly all right now I'm assuming the Americans vi by the way not the Americans but NATO players as of late have been playing with a lot of Nighthawks and this guy just set up very quickly so that means he's probably a man with a plan and for us that's not too good because we need to definitely make sure we've uh, got a better plan because that's the way the game is played. So, anyway, I think what I'm going to do is uh, lock down and lock down and then see what we can uh, see what we can do. I'm also going to push some forces left to uh, see if they can meet over here at that, uh, that passageway. So we'll uh, split our forces up to go over there as well. And uh, we'll bring probably a ROM. ROM is a very good vehicle as of late uh, for stopping a lot of uh, enemy aircraft. Now, uh, I may have picked a primary group of tanks and not, not using them so much, but we got our Americas here, so uh, that's good enough for me. So, uh, But what we really want now is ATGMs, and uh, I'll save some money for choppers and aircraft. Later on, we'll, we'll call out the tanks as we get income, but for now, we're going to try to rush for these uh, areas, and let's see if we can catch them off guard by quickly starting. Here we go. And hopefully we can capture these two areas quickly. So we'll uh, move our Scott here and our other Scott there and uh, Cubs will have to stay in the back as well make love in the cub and our other troops will have to move okay here we go so everything's moving as it should small groups are obviously far more effective sometimes than larger groups larger groups you know taking a lot of time to move and big targets for AA or for uh, for aircraft or anything uh, really um, we're gonna stop our Scott there just so we can move up ahead make sure there's not a chop blob or uh, if we're dealing with Yola, which is you obviously love artillery. So, I am looking for aircraft, and I can smell them. I know there's going to be something. There's got to be, uh, on this map, primary, primary use of uh, Abrams or um, primary use of jets. The center here is a real big area to capture as well. Very important to take that due to the fact that uh, it, it can be used as a basically an AA platform uh, against the enemy especially if they're bringing Nighthawks and stuff across. So our troops look like they're arriving finally on that uh, on that right side, almost there, and uh, still pushing up through here. We've got multiple Cubs to work with, which is very good. want to move these up uh, as far as possible without putting them in danger. I'd say anywhere near that village is probably dangerous, so we'll try to keep them in the back if we can. And it looks like he's going to Dimitri, so let's continue to push up then. And uh, our Promet and Stars will make their way over there, and our... Hopefully our ROM can make it up here, and then once we relink with them on that left side, we'll move into that city located right there. Again, I can't use markers in 1v1, otherwise I would, so if you have that suggestion, it's a good one, but unfortunately we can't do it. Now hopefully the enemy has not reached Elena with uh, with uh, airborne troops or anything yet. I'm not seeing choppers, so we, we're probably in the, in the clear here. And uh, don't know what to expect from this guy yet, but I can tell he's not going to play. Ah, there we go. There we go. So he's already arrived on this side. We're going to move our uh, Strela troops into a better position. And move up. Ah, Delta Force. Very good. That means we can use something really nice. We can send them a little gift. Hopefully they like that. In the meantime, we're going to send up more troops. Actually, a good move is to not send out troops by twos, but to send them out by four and split them up later. We'll move our Promet back then. And we'll uh, move up here on the left side. Meanwhile, on the right, let's get our defenses deployed. Promets are a great AA weapon as well. So we've got our uh, ATGMs up front and troops in support. Oh, hold on. We'll switch that. Oh, come on now. 
aircrafts. <laughs> aircraft used to take out the stingers, but it was necessary. That's alright, we got a prowler around as well. Rom is uh, gonna go ahead and try to take that out, I believe. Come on, baby. Light my fire. No, you don't. So that was a quick uh, AA deactivation. Rom is, uh, come on now. Okay, Rom did a really good job of at least scaring that aircraft off. And we have the advantage now on that uh, right side. We're going to pull these stars back. Don't give the enemy free points on that. And it looks like we're getting engaged on that right side. Oh, looks like a uh, another A uh, anti anti ground missile, whatever you want to call it, uh, just moved in to try to take us out. So what we're going to do is we're going to move up stray laws then on that right side, and uh, we'll have a big group of them come up and start spreading them out. Meanwhile, those aircraft are going to be the uh, biggest thing we're going to have to deal with. So we're going to call, call up a few of those. And it uh, looks like, what is this? Looks like Humvees are fleeing. Uh, we have the advantage now at uh, 90 points. Looks like there's also troops gathering up on the on the, on the uh, mountain there. So we're going to call out the rest of our troops. Uh, mostly in a waiting position here at Fedor. We've got a lot of cheap infantry that can come out no problem. So uh, we'll call out more of those to uh, back up defensive positions uh, at, at and around Fedor and uh, Elena. Possibly capture Elena too for reinforcements if, if needed. Enemy helicopter now spying on us from the rear. And our Promet should be able to take that out if possible. Speaking of Promet, we should probably bring out, or rather speaking of uh, aircraft, we should probably bring out recon of our own to keep an eye on what the enemy's got. <clears throat> They're probably going to try to see where our weaknesses in the, are now, and a lot of players are trying to snipe now. They'll move up with recon, see that you've got a TADU in the back, and we'll try to take that out rather than engaging you up front. So keep that in mind that all you must always have a blanket of uh, anti-aircraft fire ready. But uh, to be honest, if you uh, if you don't have, like for instance, these uh, Picota Smetch over here, um, not a big deal, to uh, uh, unless the enemy has napalm, but then again, uh, that's not, unfortunately, Soviet infantry not uh, not too uh, not too expensive, so they're just expendable. So we'll bring up those Promets now. Hopefully he, uh, oh, he, oh, what is this, Nighthawk? Shocking. So there's going to be a quick strike on that. And there it goes by. Oh, he missed. What the hell? Well, I hope he does that again then, because now we're going to bring up our Cubs. And we'll bring up some supplies for them as well. And we'll have a, extra supplies come up for our troops there as well. Quick supplies are really what the Polish can do best. And it looks like we got Blackhawks in the back. Oh, boy. I wonder if those were from earlier, if they just flew over or what the deal is. Key was gone. Goodbye. Here comes a Prowler for a counter. And a Super Cobra moving up as well. Hopefully our Cubs arrive in time. Let's have this one just roll through town. Oh, and he made it out of there just in time. Very good. Big 21's going to take out those Blackhawks now. And he'll come back for a second engagement. Hopefully this cub doesn't run out of fuel. And our promets are moving up, as promised. The promet promise. Let's actually re-engage the cobra over here if we can. And it would probably be best to call out another AA, but uh, we can't. BISs are incredible aircraft. And that uh, super cobra has been panicked. Ah, uh, you know what, we're gonna have to pull out. Yeah. Ooh, look at that AA. Come on, Meg, get it out of there. He made it. Good job. All right, Prowler coming in now. I don't know what for. He's going to get his ass engaged, though. Ooh, you're right on the edge. What is this? Possible uh, Humvee. Humvee's gone now. Promets are moving up. Hopefully there's not Delta Force in there or something. God, if there is. All right, so the Cub was taken out by one of the Prowlers. A lot of people will do this on this map, by the way, so what we're going to do now is we're going to play with them because that's what he wants to do, so fair enough. So we're going to go ahead and turn off the radar, wait until he comes around again, and there you go, your ass is mine. He's just out of range, though, so that's okay. So we'll call up the rest of these, and we should call one out over to this side as well, make sure that doesn't happen again. And he actually may be camping over at this area, so we need to be aware of that. Keep some cubs in the rear. And we'll put, set up those topaz now that are arriving. Perfect. Promets, as promised. We'll have them roll right in. Oh, there goes the uh, there goes the Nighthawk now on the uh, troops. Let's see if we can pull them out just in time. Nah, didn't think so. It's alright, though. He'll lose a lot more in just a moment with the uh, Promets going down. 
Cubs are on the line. Stars are going to make their way up there. Probably get some ATGMs up. Has he been... Eh. I wonder if he's been engaging those, but I guess not. Okay, so let's go ahead and have our uh, Promets on load here and take out that Humvee if they can. Oop, just out of range. That was a little derp move on my behalf. But that's alright, we'll bring in aircraft in just a moment. And it looks like he's getting ready to attack on multiple fronts, so we'll go ahead and plug those holes. Oh, he's bringing up tow, excellent. Yeah, go ahead, fire at those, fire at the Promets, go ahead. You'll be within range in moments. There we go. He's not paying attention. Neither am I. Laxing on a few things here as you do commentary, it gets a little more difficult. But uh, anyway, so now that his uh, the promets are gone, giving him a little bit too much points, but that did push him out of there and it scared him off. Prowler coming in now. I don't know what you're going to do with the prowler. No, you don't. Okay, we'll have our star troops on load. Coming around again for a strike on the cub. No, you don't. No, you don't. Denial and fire. Ooh, toe. That's gone, so stray laws are gone there. Or, uh, whatever, you, you know what they are. So he's going to go ahead and uh, park in the back with uh, ATGMs and such. And he's bringing up the Abrams. There they are now. So we'll go ahead and uh, bring in something to deal with that. And hopefully we deal with any infantry he's got ready. Prowler is now out of fuel. Gives us the advantage. Another cub arriving as well. Go ahead, Abrams. Go ahead and engage those chief troops. Yes. Oh, look. Cheap recon, by the way. Players will use uh, transports for kind of a makeshift recon unit. Very, uh, not friendly. There we go. And you can go ahead and get out of there. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, we can go ahead and get out now. So it looks like they're bringing in some Cobras now. So we've got the left route blocked off. Those Cobras are just kind of kind of have to sit there, I guess. Both the uh, aircraft destroyed. A real, real close game here. I really wish I could get pushing here with something else, but it's just not going to happen. So we're going to have to pull Star Troops back, and we'll get these Topaz in here, start launching ATGMs at the enemy, and uh, we'll get our row up on the line. And we've got our uh, ZAOP ready for supply. Something's probably cooking on the right, but uh, there's not much I can do. We'll get some supply over there if needed. Oh, Nighthawk gone. I don't know what he's engaging with that. Probably all the AA. Uh, looks like he destroyed some cheap infantry, so I hope that was worth it there for him. I will call in more uh, AA now because of all the uh, Delta Force sneaking around. And it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to call out some helicopters just to deal with whatever might be around there. Okay, so we've got uh, star, uh, stars being engaged there by tow. Get our artillery on the line soon. Raven's coming in. He'll probably get shot down. Nope. Yeah, players who snipe AA, it's kind of kind of boring. Boring game. Yeah. Kind of makes uh makes your defenses well it chews away at them and uh, let's see what can I do here so he's gonna try to close in on what he thinks is tightening the loop and ah uh, oh, there we are there's the delta force that just attacked uh, there it is so we'll go ahead and napalm them with a bomb real quick and we'll also get some uh, helicopters in. And we'll move our Scott as soon as 
as soon as these uh, bombs drop. As I thought the, uh, just as I thought the uh, troop came around. And there they go. So MI-24s will come in and deal with the Delta no problem. Ah, we're dealing, we're losing a lot of stuff for no reason here, unfortunate. And uh, we're up to 855 now, pulling ahead there. Gadzooks are now going to have to take out uh, enemy AA, ATGMs that are over there, so we'll fire some rounds that way. And awesome job, MI-24 is flying right over the Delta Force like a group of derps, but hey, it's got to be done. So you can bet now some aircraft are going to come around here to try to find our uh, weaknesses, and uh, we now got to recapture that FOB, so we'll actually have our uh, Promet come up, and of course this is just, you know, rolling with the punches here. Let him, let him come on in, do what he's going to do. MI-24s are flying over fire, no wonder they're damaged. God, retards. That's alright, we'll recapture the FOB here, and we'll be back on the line in moments. Alright, now, we've got, uh... Oh, he's, what's he going for? Oh, our artillery? I don't know. He's got, uh, Bradley IFV coming around the corner. And we'll go ahead and get rid of those Marines. Sorry, sir, but I cannot allow you to possess those. Stars are going to be a problem. Alright, so we should have enough, uh, enough boom booms to slow the enemy down. So that should, uh, that should, uh, kind of contain them there. We're gonna get our transports out, have the Promet spread out. Zmetch will do a good job over there. We've got our, uh, we've got our, uh, FOB back so we can go ahead and land over there. We've got our MI-24s ready for any breakthroughs. There's a Bradley out in the open. Oh, and he's trying to launch attacks with the dragons from up there. We haven't unloaded our ATGM, so now it's time to do that and we'll continue on. It's going to be a real bad day for him now. We'll call up some AA. Sheridans are going to break left. Fortunately, he won't be able to do much against uh, helicopters with those. Sorry, buddy. And Robert Zemeckis are coming up from behind. Now, it's time to move our Gadzooks that are getting hit. Got a lot of management to do here. And as I have to narrate, we've lost... Uh, the only problem is we've lost uh, too much AA to that kind of stuff, but uh, AA and artillery, uh, unfortunately. Super Coker's coming in now. As if, as if I'm not going to try to stop that, bro. So we'll go ahead and move our uh, troops to better defensive positions. And we'll keep our AA moving around. Or I mean our uh, recon. Looks like they're going to try to hit our recon. A lot of aircraft coming in now. We'll bring in more AA if he wants. That's fine. Go for it. Alright, time for tanks. Pull our supplies back. Pull our... Uh, now they've got ATGMs coming up. Or, I mean, we have ATGMs ready for their troops that are advancing. No problem. We control the north of town. It's going to be heaven for us if those Abrams come in. I wonder if I have an Abrams popper. Ah, yes, I do. Good. So if that breaks through, that's what we'll use. And it probably will. So we're going to actually bring... Now, Chaparral in the rear, we're going to engage that with our artillery. He's panicked, but we can at least shoot at it. So that's good. Two minutes left now. Yours, at, yours truly at 1,130. And the enemy at... Uh, oh, looks like Ravens are coming in. He's looking for AA. Here comes our ROMs. Alright, that's gonna have to pull out. That was a miss. Ah, damn Ravens. Ah, they can engage from a million miles away and they're just... they suck. But anyway, here comes our MI-24s. 
And, uh, yeah, they're just a pan constant pain in the ass, but that's alright. We'll engage with everything we've got here. By the way, uh, enemy troops, the more you fire them, the more accurate they get. I mean, it should be the opposite, but that's that's the way the game goes. So PVADs are moving up. We're going to go ahead and finish things off with Sheridans. Let's go ahead and bring in some belt buckles. Make sure the enemy knows we're serious. Burn them out, push them back. Bring up our own BIS to engage any ra ravens that'll come in a moment. You know he's going to bring more out with the ROMs there. Shilka's, uh, I call him Shilka's, it doesn't matter. One PVAD is down. I don't know what the hell's here in town. Let's actually re re readdress. Fighting Falcons up. So are the ROMs. It's gonna be a rom com. Yeah, get out of here. One more engagement. Okay, we're pulling out just like he is. Oh, we got him! Nice. Good job. Napalm going down. Insane. Staying ahead by 400 there. That's the kind of lead I'm talking about. Bradley IFV would be a good target. Let's try to snipe that before the end of the match. I could have done a lot better. I, there's a lot of things I could have done differently. There's a lot that I should have kept back and things that I should keep an eye out, like these these things here I should have uh, pulled back. You know, those shouldn't be on the line, but we've got ATGMs uh, that are all available. Oh, where that? Oh, hold on. We got a, We lost eyes on that Bradley. There he is. Damn it. All right, yeah, we got him back. Wow, at least he got 40 points there. Wow, and we hit the limit 24 seconds before the end of the match. I don't understand this. A minor defeat for him, even though we're over 500, almost over 500 points. But nonetheless, a good game, and I hope you enjoyed the Sausage Fest. So, oh, and by the way, my friend was Hans M. Felsen. So, hats off to you, sir, and until next time, this is Raptor reminding you to keep that password and pimp hand strong, baby. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Well, hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Wargame Airland Battle for some more campaign.